Hi everybody, just checking in, see how everyone's doing. Let me know you're doing fine. I miss you guys a lot. And, but this is a great way to hang out. We'll do some painting together. Um, Mona says hi. So she's gonna be all relaxed now, she's got a bone. So anyway, um, so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be painting all the way through. We're gonna be sketching it out. Um, this is the, what we're going to be doing. Um, but don't worry, we're not gonna do this all at once. We're going to do it in stages. Um, this is gonna be a two part series. Um, so we're gonna have some fun. I'm gonna break it down for you step by step. Um, we're gonna break the painting down. Um, we're gonna break it down into sky, water, and land. Those are what we're gonna do first. So give me some thumbs up, let me know you're there. Um, please let me know where you guys are tuning in from too. Uh, I would love to do that. I'll be reading them later because I can't read and paint at the same time. Um, it's too confusing for me, it's like walking and chewing gum. So please comment and if something's going on and you want me to slow down and go faster, uh, because it'll really help me do the next stage of this much better. So let me know, comment. Um, so from there, remember, sky, water, land. Wait, saying that they're saying there's no sound. Okay, hold on, no sound. We got no sound? I'm not sure. Um, can you hear me yet? Oh, no, someone said that where they're coming from. There must be somebody else. That there must be there on their oh, because on their people, side. Some people are commenting where they're where they're from. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so everyone can hear me. Okay. North Carolina, Tennessee. Oh, awesome. <laughs> so it is a paint and sip. Um, cheers. I'm drinking coffee. I don't know what you guys are drinking. If you're back east, maybe a glass of wine. But so we're gonna break it down. All right. So from there, I'll post this so you can see it. And what we're gonna start on. Boom. Moved away. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our horizon line. So. A third, we're gonna go mostly mo sky, water, and land. So those are the three three stages that we're doing. So first start off, horizon line, and then we're gonna do our land is over here. This is gonna be our land section and our water section. So we're breaking it down step by step. Um, I wanna do a blue sky. And then, because I'm going to show you all the shadows and everything else on our land. Because remember, this is going to be our end result here with paint on it. Everyone freaking out already? This is palm trees and house and hammock. So, step by step. Two lines so far. We're good. No worries. So, the most important thing about this whole process is have fun with it. Dakota. And I want you guys to enjoy painting. And I'm happy to share, share with you guys. And if I can teach you something, I'm so stoked. Um, so how I'm going to start is I'm going to dip in the blue. I'm going to go with that mid color blue and a little bit of white. And I'm just going to start here and I'm going to go up because I'm going to do the sky. So I'm starting to just fill in the sky Louisiana, and just start painting up through and we're just going to have a, a good time painting it. Um, 
and vary your blues. So the idea to this is we're going to go, we're going to start off dark, start off light, move our way up to dark. So this is going to be the darkest part of our sky. This is going to be the lightest part of the sky. And then we're going to reverse that because then this is going to be the darkest part of the water and we're going to go down. So, and that gives us our horizon line. So we're going to just paint in the sky. I'm going to cover it all up with blue and then I'm going to teach you how to paint some, some clouds. You can kind of see how I'm doing it. You know, it's just, it's all by feel. I've been doing it now for about two weeks. Um, and don't, don't worry, this is a two part class. So we're going to be painting, I'm covering in the sky, we're going to go in here, oh, I got a little, I got a touch of a little of the yellow ochre in there, my, but we'll just blend that in, you know, as Bob Ross used to say, happy accidents. So we're going to be painting away. And we're really going to concentrate this time on not just getting the color down. Um, I really want to show you how to do your variations of your color um, and really work that out. And so we just keep going right along. You can see how it's a little darker on the top sides up here. And I'm doing a little bit of X's, little X's, little C's, X's. I'm just moving the paint around right now because as soon as I get get the color of the blue down and then I'm going to go back in and show you how to vary your sky colors. So everyone doing fun? Comment? So hi Thomas. <laughs> so um, so enjoy the, the process here. Just going right along, getting the background done. And we're gonna go a little bit on the, the darker side up here. So we got our, our first kind of coat on the sky. And then we're gonna put a, a coat on the water. And then we're gonna go back into our sky and work a little bit more. <laughs> So, here we go, we got that blue. Um, don't worry if I'm going too fast, you can watch it later, break it down a little bit further. Um, so we're, we're getting our, our water in, because if you're not in a tropical location today, we are mentally going to go there. So, and I'm painting right along the, the water line. So I'm going a little bit, a little bit darker there. I'm going to bump it up against the water, the land. So I want to be able to show you the depth, how to get depth. And so things go backwards. And so they go out to the horizon line. So here, I don't want to get too ahead of myself. This really helps me actually break down what I do because it's so automatic for me. I can just and this makes me think about what I'm doing and trying to explain it to people. So now I'm going to go back in and put some clouds. I'm doing some little bit of C's right here, little C's, and that will give us our nice white fluffy clouds right along the horizon line. So we're going to do that. And if you want to blend it up, you can blend it up a little bit, kind of pull it down so you got that wispy sky. So with that, we want to just keep going and blending. See how it blends through? So did you notice that dark line we have there? That really 
makes your eye go backwards. So it pulls you back to the horizon line and the clouds, so it just will pull you there. That's what we're looking for, that depth feel. So with painting, we want to try and create a three-dimensional feel on a two-dimensional surface. So that's why we're using light and colors to create that. as we just go through. And sometimes you might have to stop and sip something. Perfect. So we're putting the sky in. I'm still going back and blending, and I'm bouncing back and forth between the two, the sky and the water, so I'm getting the same color palette throughout both. So this color and this color are all the same. So I want you to really bounce back and forth. So you're, you're bouncing, you're going back and forth between the colors. And then once we have this getting started, then we go back in and I'm using some of that darker blue and I'm just putting it right on the edge of where I'm gonna put my land. So, and I'm kind of zigzagging it a little bit because when you look out, water lines go like this. There's not a straight line. There's no straight lines that go across. Even the horizon line ha always has a little bit of a bow to it. And then if you have a wavy canvas, it really bows. Just, you never know if it's straight or crooked. So that's really worked out in my favor for the years that I've been doing that. Um, and I'm going a little bit darker back here because this is where the shadows are going to be. There's going to be some shadows back here. So we're just kind of going back and forth and putting a little bit of that. Get it all the way painted in. We're getting all that blue painted in. I can't wait to see it. I enjoy so much seeing your paintings when you post them. It's so much fun for me to look at them all. And so please keep that up. Please keep sharing it. Um, because painting is food for the soul. Because it really lightens us. And you know, this, this time right now, but even other times in life. It's, it's nice to paint. It's relaxing. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do, even though I do it all the time. Um, so I'm cleaning my brush right now, as you can see. Um, dabbing it on my paper towel or any towel that you have. I don't know if paper towels are a problem. No use of toilet paper. Um, so I'm dipping back in and I'm going for that yellow ochre. Okay. We're just putting that yellow ochre down. And we're gonna vary some of the colors um, with a little bit of the white, yellow ochre. We're going right up and we're going to smear those two lines together. We're gonna push them together. And if you guys can see my palette, I've got a bunch of colors, um, so that's my my chaos of painting. So when I go, oops, there's another color in there. Um, it's because I wasn't paying attention and I was trying to look at the camera. So we'll just keep moving right along here, and we're putting the colors together. We're dragging through. We're dragging a little of that blue. Um, out through so we're just we're getting a, a variation color and people are like oh my gosh it's variations don't worry about it because we're gonna have some I will show you another little trick to create depth 
because that's what we're working on. We're trying to, now we're doing the, the foreground. We did the background, middle ground, and foreground. And we're getting them based out. And then all those other objects that I showed you that we're going to put in the palm trees, the house, um, everything else, we're, we'll be doing on the next, the next class. So two parts, don't forget, don't think we're going to try and get it all done in one sitting. Um, and I'm most likely working a little faster than the rest of you out there. Um, so, and also post, share, and then go in the drawing to win the free painting with me. Um, we'll we'll uh, FaceTime, and you can actually watch me do your painting for the winner. It's a random thing. It goes into a randomizer. Um, I don't pick which one I like the best because I love all you guys' stuff. I love seeing it. So it's a randomizer thing. We just did a little drawing on Instagram and they want a little piece of wood, which was fun. So we're gonna keep doing fun little giveaways. Um, and we're gonna just, so everyone's kinda got sky, water, land. And so now what we're gonna do is, I'm cleaning my brush again. Got it cleaned off. Got my water smacking around a little, dabbing it, getting it dry. So now I'm going into my white paint. And I'm just gonna dance it along the shore. So I'm blending those two colors because along the, the edge of the water, you get the, the foam. And this will help us with our little wave going out um, and Mona is going to get rejected from the studio right now. Bye bye. Um, so, close the door. Um, oh, she's back in. Um, so we're just painting right now. What we're going to do is we're going to be painting a little wave. And then I'm just going like little seeds. See those? If you guys have any questions, please comment, ask me. And <laughs> piece of cake, right? And I'll totally read them later because if you comment now, I can't. <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out. So. And then we're gonna do a little bit of the, the white foam on top. Is everyone having fun? Is everyone enjoying themselves? So give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you're enjoying it. Um, if you need to watch this later, push pause. Painting a little bit of the sky, so we're getting that that depth now. Then you keep working on things. So, what I'm doing with you guys is I'm doing it fairly quickly, and I'm I'm skipping some some steps that I normally do. I I I'll set it aside right now and go back and work on it later. Go back and forth. So, but what I'm really working on is. I just want you guys to get used to moving paint on the canvas. So we're putting a little bit more blue. I'm gonna make it slightly darker up top. Um, you know, I wanna get a little bit darker on the top side because later when we put the palm trees in, it's gonna pop a little bit better. So we're doing a little bit of the prep work behind that. So we're putting a little bit of color down. We're 
just kind of keep laying it down. I'm going to put a little white in, put a little, little whispery clouds. I'm going to add a little bit of a, a second wave out there. You can add as many waves as you want. Just pull it back, and now I'm just blending it out. A little bit of blending. So I'm just dragging the color and blending it out. So I got that, creating that depth. And then if I want to add a little bit more up front here, I'm going with a little bit of the darker color to pull me forward a little bit more. So I'm just going to pull forward a little bit. And that darker color will help you pull forward a little. And then I'll go right on the top of it with a little bit of white. And see how that, the contrast between the dark and the light colors pull you forward. Wish I was there, I could just go by and give you a little swipe. Pop you out a little. I'm gonna add a little bit of wave here. There we Create a little bit of the thing. So I, I totally start falling into what I do and, and disappear in there and I forget that anybody's around me. Um, I do that in the galleries when people are, so sorry if I go quiet for a second. So there we go, we got the sky, the land, I mean the water and the land. So background, middle ground, foreground. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump a little bit ahead and I'm gonna show you a couple little different things that you can prep for you know a couple more minutes um, so we can see the next time it's not gonna be so dramatic. So we're gonna take a little bit of that, that darker blue and if you have some purple or make a little purple and we're just gonna block in this totally scary this is going to be your palm trees and this is your background for your palm trees because your house is going to go in front of it so what we're going to do is we're just painting a shape of a palm tree behind your house because next week we're going to paint the house on so there we go I'm just doing a little bit of Shapes there, everyone freaking out yet? So we'll be covering a lot of this up. So don't go really thick on the texture. This is just to the shape because we're gonna remember this section. Remember, this is what we're painting. We're painting this in here right now. So that's Hopefully everyone gets that. And we're gonna paint some shadows next too. So we're gonna go with a little bit of purple. I know I didn't put it out on the list so you might have to squeeze some out of your tube or push pause then go back to it later. So we're gonna shadow underneath our house. This is where the house is gonna go. So we got a little bit more purple on it so you guys can see it. So remember, shadow, we're gonna put the shadows in here. That's what we're painting right now. We're painting here, boom, here. We're gonna put this shadow in and a little shadows here. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do right now. And then we're gonna let it sit and then 
Tune in next week, and we will be finishing this off. If you want to jump ahead, go ahead and jump ahead. But I'm trying not to jam too much up in one, but I really want to show you guys how I do the paintings. So we're doing some shadows right there. We're gonna do a little bit more shadows all through here. So this is where the palm tree is gonna come down in. This is where a palm tree is gonna be over here. Remember we had that house, hammock, palm tree here. We're gonna do a little bit like that. And then we're gonna just keep pulling a little of that in like this. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit of white and tan and just kind of pop around the edges. And I know it doesn't make 100% sense at this moment, but as we pull it together, it'll totally make sense as we work through. So we're just putting the shadows in. We're having fun with it. And hopefully I didn't go too fast this time. Please comment, let me know. Um, the next step is gonna be a little bit more involved. Um, we're gonna, when we put the house in and the other things, so, first stage, second stage, and then the third stage is we're gonna be doing all the palm trees. I'm gonna teach you how to do a lot of this stuff. Um, the shapes of the house, um, the shadows. So we're putting the shadows in right now. See how it's all starting to pull together. So it's a layering process. It takes a little bit. Um, and you know, play with it throughout the week. You know, you can go back in, put a little bit more color, a little more layer. Um, I'll, I'll post that sketch so you can see the sketch again. Um, so you can practice a little bit. But the biggest thing is have fun doing it and comment, let me know if, what I can do better for you guys because it's really important for me to Share my talent with you, whatever way I can, and get you to paint and enjoy the process because the process is what's important. Sometimes the end results, I got a whole rack of bad ideas over there. Um, so, but I wanna show you guys the steps and enjoy it and have fun. And I will see you guys next week. And please comment, post and share. Thank you.